Picture this, New Zealand, a land before time, a place where the natural world thrived in its most pristine form, untouched by human hands, lush forests teeming with bizarre and wonderful creatures. From the smallest insects to the largest birds, every corner of this land was alive with activity, and amidst this prehistoric paradise a bird like no other, the North Island giant moa. This bird was a true marvel of nature, a testament to the incredible diversity of life that once roamed these lands. We're talking massive. Imagine a bird taller than a basketball hoop, tipping the scales at over 500 pounds. That's one hefty drumstick. These birds were not just large, they were colossal, dominating the landscape with their sheer size. They towered over everything else, their long necks reaching for the tastiest leaves. With their impressive height, they could access food sources that were out of reach for other creatures, making them the undisputed giants of their ecosystem. These were the gentle giants of their time, content to munch on foliage and soak up the sun. Their days were spent in peaceful grazing, moving slowly through the forests, their presence a calming influence on the environment around them. But alas, their reign wouldn't last forever. The arrival of humans and other factors led to their eventual extinction, a poignant reminder of the fragility of life. The story of the Moa is a tale of evolution, extinction and the enduring power of nature. It's a story that teaches us about the delicate balance of ecosystems and the impact of change, whether natural or human-induced. So buckle up folks because we're about to embark on a journey through time. We'll explore the rise and fall of these magnificent creatures, and what their story tells us about our own place in the natural world. Get ready to dive deep into the history of New Zealand's most iconic bird, the North Island giant Moa. Now you might be thinking, what did these colossal chickens eat to get so big? No, they weren't gobbling down dinosaurs. The Moa were dedicated vegetarians. Their diet consisted of leaves, stems, fruits, basically, an all-you-can-eat salad bar from Mother Nature herself. They roamed the forests, stripping branches bare with their strong beaks. They weren't picky eaters, these moa. Can you imagine the grocery bill for one of these feathered behemoths? Forget birdseed, they needed a whole forest. Here's a fun fact, moa couldn't fly, not even a little bit. They were avian anomalies, big on brawn, not on wingspan. You see, New Zealand was a land of evolutionary oddities. Isolated for millions of years it became a haven for creatures that didn't play by the usual rules. Without any natural predators, the moa said, who needs wings? They ditched flight and focused on what really mattered, eating their weight in greenery. Evolution is a funny thing, isn't it? It's all about adapting to your environment, even if it means giving up the ability to soar through the air. For millions of years, moa ruled the roost in New Zealand. They were the undisputed kings and queens of their ecological domain. There were actually nine different species of moa, each with its own quirks and characteristics. Some were giants, others were more like oversized turkeys, but they all shared one thing in common. They were perfectly adapted to their environment. They were living proof that evolution could produce some truly bizarre and wonderful creatures. And who was their only natural enemy? A bird of prey so massive it made eagles look like sparrows, the host's eagle. Talk about an avian arms race. Section 5. The Arrival of the Hungry Hominids But then, everything changed. Around the 13th century, a new predator arrived on the scene humans. And unlike the host's eagle, these newcomers had a taste for moa meat and a knack for destruction. The Polynesians, skilled hunters and seafarers wasted no time in exploiting this newfound food source. They hunted the moa relentlessly, their impact amplified by deforestation and the introduction of invasive species. It's a sad story, really. The moa, these gentle giants who had thrived for millennia, were no match for the ingenuity and ruthlessness of humankind. Section 6. Extinction's Ripple Effect. The eagle has landed permanently. Within a few centuries, the unthinkable happened. The moa, once a common sight in New Zealand's forest, vanished entirely, extinct, gone, and they weren't the only victims. The host's eagle, its primary source of food gone, soon followed the moa to oblivion. It's a stark reminder that ecosystems are delicate, interconnected webs. The loss of one species can have far-reaching consequences for others. The extinction of the moa wasn't just a tragedy for these magnificent birds, it was an ecological disaster that reverberated throughout New Zealand's natural world. Section 7. 
Lessons from the Land of the Long White Cloud New Zealand, often referred to as the Land of the Long White Cloud, is a place of breathtaking beauty and profound lessons. Its landscapes are a testament to the raw power of nature, with towering mountains, lush forests, and pristine coastlines that stretch as far as the eye can see. The story of the Moa is a cautionary tale, a reminder of the devastating impact humans can have on the planet. These giant, flightless birds once roamed the forests of New Zealand, living in harmony with the land. However, with the arrival of humans, their fate took a tragic turn. The Moa were hunted to extinction, their habitats destroyed, and their legacy reduced to mere bones and stories. It's also a story about evolution, adaptation, and the fragility of life. The unique flora and fauna of New Zealand evolved in isolation, creating a biodiversity found nowhere else on Earth. From the kiwi bird to the ancient kauri trees, each species tells a story of survival and adaptation in a constantly changing world. New Zealand, once a land of giants, now serves as a poignant reminder of what we stand to lose if we fail to learn from the past. The ancient forests, with their towering trees and rich ecosystems, are a living testament to the natural wonders that once thrived here. They remind us of the delicate balance that exists in nature and the consequences of tipping that balance. The Moa's extinction is a wake-up call, urging us to protect the natural world and the incredible creatures that inhabit it. Conservation efforts in New Zealand are now focused on preserving what remains and restoring what has been lost. From protecting endangered species to reforesting native lands, these initiatives are crucial in ensuring that future generations can experience the beauty and diversity of this unique ecosystem. It's a story that should be told and retold, from the bustling cities to the most remote corners of the globe. The lessons learned from New Zealand's past are not just relevant to this island nation but to the entire world. In our rapidly urbanizing and industrializing world, the need to balance development with conservation has never been more critical. Because if we don't learn from our mistakes, we're doomed to repeat them. The history of environmental damage serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of neglecting our natural world. Yet, the modern conservation initiatives offer hope, showing that positive change is possible when we commit to protecting our planet. And this time, the stakes are higher than ever. Climate change, habitat destruction, and species extinction are challenges that require immediate and sustained action. By learning from the past and taking decisive steps today, we can ensure a thriving planet for future generations. The story of New Zealand is a powerful reminder of our responsibility to protect the Earth and all its inhabitants. Section 8. Moa, a legacy in bone and feather. Today, all that remains of the Moa are bones, footprints, and the occasional pile of feathers. But these remnants tell a powerful story, one that continues to fascinate scientists and capture the imagination. Museums around the world proudly display Moa skeletons, these towering testaments to a bygone era. They serve as tangible reminders of the incredible biodiversity that once graced our planet, and who knows what other secrets lie buried beneath the soil of New Zealand. The Moa may be gone but their legacy lives on, inspiring awe and wonder in equal measure. Section 9, Conservation, Our Chance to Get It Right. This is a pivotal moment in our history, a moment where we can choose to make a difference. The choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. The extinction of the MOA was a tragedy, but it doesn't have to be in vain. The Moa, a majestic bird that once roamed the forests of New Zealand, is now a symbol of what we stand to lose if we don't act. Its story is a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the impact humans can have on the environment. We can honor their memory by dedicating ourselves to conservation, by taking active steps to protect and restore our natural world. This means supporting reforestation projects, protecting endangered species, and preserving natural habitats. Every small action counts, from planting a tree, to supporting conservation organizations, to protecting the incredible diversity of life that still exists on our planet. Our planet is home to an astonishing array of life forms, each playing a unique role in the ecosystem.
stewards of the environment. This means reducing our carbon footprint, minimizing waste, and advocating for policies that protect natural resources. It also means educating others about the importance of conservation and inspiring them to take action. We must learn from the mistakes of the past, such as deforestation and pollution, which have caused irreversible damage to ecosystems and biodiversity. By understanding the consequences of these actions, we can work towards more sustainable practices that ensure the health of our planet for future generations, and strive to create a future where humans and nature can coexist in harmony. Imagine a world where clean air and water are available to all, where wildlife thrives, and where natural landscapes are preserved for everyone to enjoy. This vision is within our reach if we commit to making it a reality. Let the story of the MOA be a call to action, a powerful reminder of what is at stake. The MOA's extinction is a lesson in the importance of biodiversity and the need for proactive conservation efforts, a reminder that extinction is forever and that once a species is gone it can never be brought back. This is why it is crucial to protect endangered species and prevent further loss of biodiversity, and that the time to act is now. We are at a critical juncture, and the decisions we make today will determine the future of our planet. It is up to each of us to take responsibility and make a positive impact. Because in the end, our own survival depends on it. The health of our environment is directly linked to our well-being. By protecting nature, we are also protecting ourselves and ensuring a sustainable future for all.